One of the things that makes Seesaw such a unique and amazing environment for teachers to work in is that there are so many thousands, tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of teachers out there who are creating activities for Seesaw and willing to share. And one of the people that I have been following for years and is such an amazing creator is a kindergarten teacher named Chris Schreiner. And he has worked with a colleague of his, Beth Layton, to create a an activity library in the form of a Google slideshow. So let's click on it now and I'll, I'll take you through it and show you what, we're, what, uh, what it looks like here. So it's got over 500 slides in it and it has a table of contents here at the top. And what you can do is go to any one of these kind of curricular areas or topics and click on them. So we can go to phonics and you can see it's gonna take me down to slide 67 and then from here, there are all of these different activities that are kind of already created for you. So you can always take this and use it as a background if you'd like, but over on the side, they have kind of this link here that says click here to get this page made as a seesaw activity. So if this is something that you want to use, then you can click and it's gonna be take, you're gonna be taken to Chris's page where he has actually created this activity. And you can take a look at it and make sure it's something that you know fits for your environment. And then when you decide that it is, you'll wanna go over to the Save Activity button right here. So let's click on that and you'll see what happens. What happens is that this activity created by Chris actually gets saved here into your Seesaw library where it says my library right here. Now you'll want to take it and customize it like we've looked at doing in a previous video. So the way you would do that would be to click on it. And then from here, you want to go down to the bottom right corner where there's the three dot menu and choose that and then choose to copy and edit the activity. So from here, you can always go in and change these instructions. You could add voice instructions. You could add an example if you wanted, and then the template will be attached. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the template so we can take a quick peek at it. So you can see that it's all ready to go for your students. So you can, of course, alter this in any way that you'd like. If you want to add some directions for them to record as they are going through and doing the activity, you can definitely do that. When you're all set and happy with the way that it is, you can go down and hit save. And from there, you can, of course, use the assign button to push it out to your students. So I encourage you at this time to take a look through and see all of the hundreds of activities that are in here. Some of them are templates. Um, you'll notice if I kind of go back to the very first page here, we can go to science, for example. And when we head down into science, some of these are just kind of a template that you can use. Okay, so design challenges. Hey, here's my blueprint. Here are my the materials I'm going to need. Here are my ideas. So you can take these and push them into Seesaw and use them for a, a variety of purposes. So go ahead and take a look through, have fun, and remember that anytime that you see something you'd like to use, click here where it says click here to get this page made as a Seesaw activity.